rows of the second queries from my first query so that is nothing but your set operator now let's understand this with the help of one example so let's say for example if i have one query called as a this one and another query called as a this one and the output of this query is this one and output of that query is this one okay now if i will apply or if i will use the minus set operator then how i can use i can use like this means i am subtracting the rows from the first query and what all that rows i am subtracting the second query's rows and how exactly it work let's understand that too so as we have discussed this is my output and this is my output okay now if i will apply then what it will do it will give the this result so what exactly it did so it did whatever rows which are in the my second query that will check in the my first query whether that rows are present or not if that is present then what it will do it will remove that rows from the first query and whatever the leftover rows are there from the first query it will give the that result so what i am trying to say over here whatever the common rows between both the rows okay both the rows or not i would say the rows both between the both the query that will be removed and it will give the output from the whatever first query i have written from there it will give the output so that is nothing but your minus set operator so guys i hope you have understood what exactly it is so guys let's see practical example of the minus set operator over here first we will see what all the queries which we are going to use in the our example okay so let's see so guys as you can see on the your screen this is my first query and the output of my first query is this one 10 20 30 and 40 and this is my second query and the output of this second query is this one you can see 10 20 and 30 okay if i am saying 10 20 30 means entire row i am saying okay assume that now if i want to join or if i want to combine both output or if i want to use the minus operator then how you can use you can use like this as you can see on the your screen this is how you can use it okay now if i will fire this query then what happened it will it will subtract this output from which table this output so if i will minus this rows 10 20 and 40 then what happened it will delete 10 20 and 40 so remaining is 40 no, sorry 30 so this will be the output of this query so let me show you over here so as you can see over here this is the output as i told you now guys over here you need to take care one thing if i will minus this entire table entire table with this output okay then what would be the output no row will be because all the rows whatever i have over here all the rows will be subtracted from this side and this is the otherwise okay let me do like this so what i will do over here i will do over here like this means i'm the i'm subtracting the output of this query uh, sorry uh, i'm subtracting the output of this query from this query and whatever the leftover from this query it will return means what i am doing over here i am uh, subtracting over here this output from this output so over here 10 20 and 40 is there over here 10 20 and 40 is there so this will negate or this will subtract so there will be no output let me show you over here you can see over here now if i will do reverse then it will give the output because i have one row inside that let me show you over here so the first example was the first one you can see over here so over here what it did it did the output of this uh, query subtracted 
from this query so this is how and this is what the minus operator is so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the minus operator is now you need to take care few things just like the other set operator like union union all intersect okay the so whatever the number of uh, column you have used over here same number of column you have to use in this second query as well and the whatever the data type you have used over here same data type you have to use over here as well okay means whatever the data type of these columns you have to use same data type for this column as well so this is the thing you have to use you cannot use order by clause uh, in this query means what i am trying to say over here so let me do one thing over here like this uh, i can use but i cannot use order by clause like this along with this my subquery means i if i will return like this means i am using the order by clause with this i cannot use let me fire over here it will definitely give the error so you can see over here it gives the error now i can use the order by clause for the entire query you can see your entire query uh, output giving okay so this order by clause is for this entire query so this is all about the minus set operator so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the minus set operator is you just you need to take care few things you have to subtract the uh, lower side data from the upper set data okay means i have over here the large number of set and from here i need to subtract the lower side area then only then it will give okay so in short what i can say that if i will subtract this output from this output then it will give the this output and if i will do reverse if i will subtract this output from this output then it will give nothing so this is all about the minus set operator now let's go for the practice And guys, if you like the video, then please don't forget to share this video in any of the Facebook relevant group. Okay, thank you so much for watching for the video. Bye, take care.